hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and my fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all <laughs> let's get to it y'all know when i start off smiling and laughing we already know somebody to put their foot in their mouth again okay now mr e aka the director of triple d revenge y'all he said that you know when they started filming Something told him to get Mo 3's part on out the way. Okay? So they made sure that Mo 3 part was finished before everybody else. <laughs> he said something told him, y'all. Could it be a little birdie named Marcus Speed told you to hurry up and get him out the way because he, he out of here? Is this what? Y'all? Talk about putting a foot in their mouth over and over again. This is one person that should have never did interviews after Mo3 was taken out in this movie, y'all. He is so new, but today it don't make sense. But I want y'all to hear this for y'all self, okay? Another interview two years ago. Let's go, y'all. Two, three years ago, this in interview came out, okay? Let's go. Let me back it up just a little bit. Yeah, it was my family. Okay. It was my family. Um, did he finish? The, the best way I can put it is he did everything that was necessary. Okay. He did everything that was necessary. And I don't know what it was, but something told me to go ahead and, you know, get a lot of his scenes out the way. Of course, I ain't had no way of knowing. Right. You re really? So out of everybody in this Triple D Revenge movie, y'all, do y'all listen to this man? Out of everybody that was in this movie, something a little birdie told him he don't know what it was, but he had no idea that Mo3 was about to get taken out. But something told him to get Mo3 scenes out the way. Out of everybody in this picture, something told him to get Mo3 parts out the way, y'all. So they tried to rush and get Mo3 parts done really, really fast. And like I said, timing is everything. Mo3 and Boosie, wasn't, they wasn't feeling each other. But all of a sudden, Boosie was in love with Mo3. He wanted to do music with him. He wanted to do a movie with him. Okay? Out the blue. Which tells you he knew something. Now, Mo3 was picked, hand-picked. Okay? By them. Now, a few minutes ago, he started explaining that what a producer does. And he said, producers are the ones that picks the director. Okay, y'all? <laughs> the producers is the one who picks the director. Now, the producers of this movie was Rainwater and Mr. Speed, y'all. Marcus Speed. Okay? He said, this is what Mr. E said, that the producers came to him with an idea. Okay? And they financed it. So rainwater, let me get this. Let me let let let. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's go back. Rainwater gets up with Marcus Speed, and they decide together that we're gonna put in money to do a movie. And Mo Three was the first number one person they cast. Okay, y'all. Rainwater has been playing the fence. He been. Pushing these beefs with Mo3 before Mo3 was taken out. He was pushing these beefs and everything. Okay? He was in the middle of all of it. He would jump on social media and taunt people and then stop, bring up Mo3's name and all this stuff. They already didn't like Mo3, but he kept taunting. Taunting all Mo3 enemies. Okay? At the same time, he's doing all of this, piling up all the enemies. Everybody make them want to take Mo3 out. <laughs> okay, y'all? At the same time, he's piling up all these enemies and boosting stuff on even more, nitpicking. 
jumping on Vito on doing a live, ain't man in his own business. Rainwater jumps in his, jumps on his live and start nitpicking with him. Okay, y'all? If you already got somebody that's already, Mo3 had, you know, try to help Vito and then he just stopped helping him. Okay, y'all? He didn't want nothing to do with him. You know, he ran with the crew that didn't like him. Okay? So, Mo3 stopped helping his career. And then Mo3 career just shot up. So, you already know that um, Vito was going to be all in his feelings. Okay? But then you got a manager that's taunting him. Nah, 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 Mo3 better. Nah, 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 y'all ain't nothing. Nah, 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 this is that. What do y'all think that these people are going to do? They're going to get madder and madder and madder. Okay, you're going to keep on messing with me. We'll stop your meal ticket. We'll this, we'll that, okay? This is the attitude that everybody had. They already was mad at him, but he made it 10 times worse. Now, at the same time, he was making sure that everybody in Dallas was against Mo3. He was making sure of it. This is what Rainwater was doing, okay, y'all? At the same time he was doing this, he was in the cut going to talking to Marcus Speed, who is best friends. All of these people grew up together in Oak Cliff, okay, y'all? He's meeting up with people in Oak Cliff, y'all. And deciding to put money together to make a movie. And making Mo3 the first person that they cast. Y'all make it make sense. This guy just stood up here and said that for some reason, something told me, so, you know, we had to get Mo3 parts out the way. But I couldn't have never known. You know, he sit up there and put his foot in his mouth. At the same time, he incriminate himself. He turned around and try to, try to, you know, clean it up. Okay, we, you know, we 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 couldn't have known what was gonna happen to Mo Three. But we did try to get his parts done real fast. So that lets you know they were finished with Mo Three parts. This is another thing that lets you know they were finished with Mo Three parts. Let me play it again for y'all. One more. One more. One more, one more. Let's play this one more time. One more time. Finish with production? Because I know in the interview I did with Rainwater, mm -hmm. I know the night or the day of that he passed, he was on his way to shoot a movie. So I don't know if it right. was shooting for y'all. Yeah, it was my family. Okay. That was my family. Um, did he finish... Why he keeps saying it's his film, and at the same time, the producers is the one that came to him with the idea. So it really was the producer's film. They just hired him because he from Oak Cliff, too. He from the whole little clique, too, and everybody else. You know, this is the whole same circle I told y'all about that we're all leaving all kind of messages in, you know, Hector's, you know, stuff. After Hector got taken out, they were all in their feelings. All of this crew of people that were upset and mad. Okay, y'all? Um, listen to this this new bit stay right here. The best way I can put it is he did everything that was necessary. Okay. Because he, he was done. And I don't know what it was, but something told me to go ahead and, you know, get a lot of his things out the way. Of course, I ain't had no way of knowing right. that what happened was going to happen. But Why you ain't had no way of knowing what was going to happen was going to happen? Your best friend, the one who is Marcus Speed, was posting 11-11, some of the spectacular is coming. He was telling y'all. He was letting everybody know that it was about to go down for Hector. Y'all, this is how I found out about the movie. Because I went through Hector's page. Okay. And there was something coming that was a brewing for the revenge of of Hector. Okay, y'all, this is how I found out about the movie. I didn't even, y'all, I didn't even know. This is what led me to this movie and, the, and everything about it. And he just said, of course, I didn't have no idea of what was going on. How you didn't have no idea? One of the producers was posted on that page almost regularly in October that something was coming, that people was going to get paid in November. The movie wasn't coming out in November. He didn't have no new stuff coming out going on with his, his businesses or anything like that. So where was this money coming from? What was something spectacular that was coming from that was going to happen in November then? 
that he claimed he didn't know about. Let's keep going, y'all. Well, uh, just something told me, man, make sure I, you know, and I'm glad because we want to leave him a legacy and we, you know what I'm saying, we want to do it in his name, so. He want to leave a legacy in Mo3 name. Really? You all friends with the same crew of people that hated Mo3. Y'all, everybody in, in Dallas was blackballing Mo3 until that last week of his life. And then everybody wanted to get a feature. Everybody wanted to do this. Everybody wanted the piece of Mo3. Because everybody knew that they was trying to get in their last piece of fame off of Mo3's name. And they knew that everybody was going to be talking about it. Everybody was going to be longing for to listen to some of Mo3 music. Whatever he had played a part in. That people was going to want to rush to go see it. Or rush to go listen to it. Because they was going to be missing them some Mo3. And this was the idea. This was an idea for everybody to make money. You know, off of this situation that was about to take place. Y'all. For sure. So, like, hearing with the passing of Mo3, immediately, you know, so, like, what kind of goes through your mind? And then in the editing room, is there anything that you're having? And I kid y'all not, he keep blinking his eye. Every time he start talking about Mo3, his eyes start blinking, 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 blinking. And to do different now that he's passing. Like, is there any imp improvising that you have to do with the movie because of his passing? Not really. Not really, to be honest with you. Not really. Um... Slightly, but uh, not really. He, uh, again, he did majority of what he need, needed to do. Okay. And the only reason but, he's uh, saying he did majority of what he needed needed to do instead of saying he had did what he needed to do is because the question is going to come up. Why did y'all have him to come down there on 11-11 to meet y'all? And if it was so important for him to meet with y'all, to do this last scene of the movie that he was already had passed away in the movie. So I don't even understand how y'all needed another scene. Okay. But ask yourself this question. If everybody had, you know, and he said that everybody, the calendar was set for this and that and that and this. If it was 11, 11 was the day, last day of taping or whatever, whatever, whatever. Why the heck did he go to get his hair cut? At the same time that they was all supposed to go meet. He went to get his hair cut, y'all. Ring a bell? Sound like Snoop Bands, don't it? I was getting a hair cut. But Dolph is waiting at the um the video shoot for you to come. But uh, you want to get a haircut? And you supposed to be in the video too? Mr. E was in the movie. You wait till the last minute to go get a haircut? When y'all was supposed to be meeting Mo3, some don't, some ain't adding up. They was rushing Mo3. Hurry up. Rainwater on the phone calling Mo3 while he's, you know, laying up chilling somewhere, okay? And he calling him, hurry up. You got to hurry up and be there. You got to be there. Hurry up. Get up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to be late. But other people that was supposed to be on the set, they were going to get a haircut at the same time did he go to get the haircut so he can have an alibi and say i wasn't there i was getting my haircut so i can meet them there it makes no sense you just went into that barber shop so you could sit there and wait for the news to come in that's what it sounded like to me you were waiting for to the news to come in okay just like people that round off was waiting for the news to come in that he was gone. So they could put on their acting skills and pretend like nobody knew nothing. Okay, y'all? Every time this guy opens his mouth, y'all, he put his foot in it. Out of all of the people that was acting, you got all of these other actors that's, you know, on the, that's on the set, that's doing the movie. They are rappers, too. But Mo3 was the only one you was worried about. We got to hurry up and get his 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 um, parts done. Why? Why did you have to rush Mo3's parts? At the same time, he was the first person y'all cast. It seemed to me that Mo3 was a very important part of this movie being made. Because, you know, he was the person that was going to bring in the money. 
after he passed away. That is. Okay, y'all? Let's keep going. Um, you know, it, it, it affected the cast and the crew just like it affected the city, but, you know, with him showing up. How did it affect the city? The fans, yes, it affected the fans that really loved them some 03. But as far as the city, they partied for days. They partied for days. Watching Mo3 get taken out on an expressway on the, you know, the footage that everybody recorded, y'all. They recorded it and had a watch party. So why is this guy fronting and why is he lying? Chatboy Freddy was paying radio hosts not to play Mo3 music and to play his. The city had turned on Mo3. So why is this guy study lying, y'all? Now y'all love him after he gone, but where before he was gone, everybody hated him? And you mean to tell me Mr. E didn't know nothing about this and he's from the same neighborhood where he, Mo3 was beefing with all these people from Oak Cliff? And he didn't know? All his circle of friends that were all so, so very close to Hector. And how Hector was taken out affected them so bad. You mean to tell me that Mr. E didn't know anything, y'all? He had no clue of the setup? He had no clue, y'all? Oh, but Mo3, Harry, we gotta get your part out the way. Okay. Up on set um, every week or two or three times in a week, you know. It, it affected everybody. So from that standpoint, yeah, it, it affected us a lot. But, um, you know, as far as the film is concerned, like, he, uh, he came through and he did his thing. So How, how long were y'all? And I'm going to tell y'all this. To be honest with y'all, the little parts that Mo3 played, I could play them without acting skills. It ain't like Mo3 had a lot of, you know, script to say in there. He didn't say much. He was like a hitter in the picture. Every time he showed up, he showed up, took somebody out, and went on about his business. It was nothing. To, it wasn't much of a script, y'all. So why would you have to go do acting classes just to show up and bang, bang somebody and walk away? He said very little words, y'all. And to be honest with y'all, Mo3 could have done that. He, y'all. He could have done that without it acting, going to acting school. But they wanted him, you know, so they can keep up with him. This is why they suggest he go to acting classes and all of this other stuff. Okay, y'all. And the, the part that gets me, if y'all was so damn close to Fr Trap Boy Freddy, he a rapper. Why didn't y'all put him in the movie? Since y'all love him so much, y'all from the same neighborhood from him. That he's from. You and Smurf and all of y'all are friends. Y'all got this serious bond together. Why didn't y'all put Trap Boy Freddy in a movie? Or Yellow Beezy? They were rappers. Why, y'all? And another thing. Why was everything the theme of the whole movie was red and black? When you did Triple D, the first movie, there was no theme color. Everybody wore colors just like a normal movie, y'all. I've never went to a movie where... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to correct that. That was one other movie. But the whole movie was not colors. The Wiz. Y'all remember on The Wiz when they was like, you have, you'd rather be seen in green. And then everything turned to green. I'd rather be... I wouldn't want to be caught, you know... <laughs> in the color red and then everything would turn red but that was a certain part in the movie but in this movie the from the from when the movie first came on till it went off everything was red and black did it really mean war excuse me y'all i don't know if i'm supposed to say that name that's a song <laughs> what is it good for is that what the red and black meant? Revenge? And I'm going to tell y'all something else about this movie. Certain particular parts in this movie remind me of the beef that Mo3 and Trap Boy had. 
the revenge that somebody took somebody out and they was hell bent on getting their revenge no matter if what this was the same thing that was going on in Mo3's life because Trap Boy said he wasn't going to leave the city until Mo3 was laying in the dirt just like his friends okay y'all so so much of this movie just brought everything the life of what Mo3 was going through y'all this movie, it just played a big, major role in taking out an icon, to be honest with y'all. Somebody that they should have been putting on the map for real, not trying to line up for the end, for his, they, you know, his enemies. They could have made so much more money off of Mo3 by keeping him alive, but the jealousy was real. And they had to get Mo3 out the way because... Mo3 was making plans to leave Dallas. And oh, if he would have lived a little bit by signing with Yo Gotti, he was going to be put with other artists and they were going to, you know, break Trap and Yellow Beezy them off like they ain't never broke them off before. That music, if you thought the music that Mo3 was doing by himself was off the chain think about as time went on and um his gift would have been you know so much more mature just think about what he would have been rapping about now he would have been eating them up alive there was you know their career would have completely been over we already know yellow beezy the one hit wonder okay y'all but He would have been destroyed. Him and Trap. And there was, you know, he would have been out the way. They wouldn't have been able to just get to him as easy and he then left town. It was easy for them to do it there. Because, you know, allegedly Trap run Dallas because of, you know, crooked and corruption and stuff like that. He run it. When you got, you know, commissioners and, you know, all these people, ex-police officers, all this stuff in your back pocket, you can get stuff done. And you can get away with stuff to a certain extent. But they got sloppy, y'all. They got sloppy and they got greedy. And he decided that, you know, posting about Mo3, you know, um, was the thing to do and it wasn't. Y'all, I kid y'all not every time they open their mouth, they, they let out some stuff that they shouldn't. Okay, y'all? And this is what they have been doing from interview to interview to interview. I'm going to listen to a little bit more of this, but I, I basically let y'all heard what I wanted y'all to hear. They, he said that they, you know, they were on a mission to get Mo 3's part out the way. Please light up the comment section and ask Answer me this, y'all. Why do you think that he wanted to rush and get Mo 3's part out the way? He didn't know what was coming. This is what he's claimed. But for some reason, something told him to get Mo 3's part out the way. All of his things out the way. Make it make sense, y'all. That if you got Mo 3's parts out the way, what was the purpose of him showing up for 11-11, y'all? To a scene that you didn't even feel that it was important because you wanted to get your hair done. Shooting before y'all got to the point y'all are now, or are y'all still kind of shooting right uh, now? We, we literally have one more day of some pickup shots. That okay. Just pop in there, you know, we, we, we just got a little bit more. But the bottom line is um, we were supposed to do uh, 17 days of shooting. Okay. And uh, I think... I think we're on day 31. Okay, so y'all over budget. Oh, so, <laughs> I mean, you know what? The crazy thing. You know why they over budget? Because they had to rearrange some stuff and pretend like Mo3 had something else to do. And he didn't, y'all. They had to change some stuff up. Okay? Because they got caught up in a mess. This is why. Nobody it is. Um, 
man, the, the whole thing happened. Uh, it, it was a miracle, the whole thing. We've been over budget since we started. And he said the movie was over budget. Y'all, that little bubblegum ass, ass suck up movie, okay, was not over budget, y'all. The stuff that I saw, the scenes that I saw, I can go do a movie myself, okay, and put them little scenes that they put in there, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all something else that I that caught my eye in that movie, that they had a crooked cop, a female, okay, that was on their team, too. And I'm going to tell y'all this, um, there's a crooked cop that's on their team, a female that was showing up to every time, you know, one of my three friends get taken out. Anything to do with Mo3, this, that, that, that. She always showed up, okay? Christian officer that was dating the preach, the bishop, y'all, okay? The bishop that, you know, Trapper and Freddie grew up in his church, okay, y'all? And he is boys, you know, allegedly cousins. I don't know, though, because y'all know some people say they're cousins and they're not. But Trap Boy is allegedly, you know, kin folks to the guy that, you know, runs the church and his girlfriend y'all is a police officer word on the street a dirty cop okay y'all um this movie is so similar to mo three's life even though he want to act like it ain't it's so similar to his life i i kid y'all not okay so like current topics right now with you know, everything is going crazy. Yeah. Um, some will argue that hip hop is one of the most dangerous. Okay. They're talking about something else. So I'm going to get off of it. But I just wanted y'all to hear that part, y'all. Okay. Y'all let me know in the comment section. What do y'all think he meant by saying that they had to get more three parts out of the way, y'all? For the new people that's coming in that didn't hear it, I'll play it one more, one more, one more time. They got Mo 3 parts out the way because they knew, to me, they knew Mo 3 was about to get taken out. That's my personal opinion. That's why they got his parts out the way. But he says, how could he, they have known? Um, Your boy was posting up 11 stuff. I mean, how did he know? He passed. He was on his way to shoot a movie. So I don't know if it was shooting was, for y'all. Yeah, it was my family. Okay. It was my family. Um, did he finish... The best way I can put it is he did everything that was necessary. Okay. He did everything that was necessary. And I don't know what it was, but some told me to go ahead and, you know, get a lot of his scenes out the way. Of course, I ain't had no way of knowing. Right. Okay, y'all. Something told him to get more three scenes out of the way. Please like that comment section up, y'all. And let me know what y'all think. I want to know what's on your mind. What y'all think he meant by that, y'all? Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.